Just a few hours ago, the Supreme Court allowed Border Patrol agents to cut through or move the razor wire that Texas installed on the U.S.-Mexico border. So justices agreed with the Biden administration who argued the wire prevents agents from reaching migrants who have already crossed over the border. Our very own Monica Madden is here to give us a little insight on this. So a big decision, obviously, Mon, from the justices. How do you think that this will all play out? with other cases between the Biden administration as well as the state. Well, I think, Jen, you know, it's important to point out that we're kind of at this boiling point when it comes to litigation between uh, the federal government and Texas over what Texas has been doing at the border. You know, we have a similar pending litigation over the buoys that mm. Governor Abbott ordered to be installed uh, in the Rio Grande River near Eagle Pass. And I think that this, you know, it is just an order from the Supreme Court, so we don't have any insight as to what the justices were thinking. But historically, in other courts, in other uh, decisions before uh, in 2012 we had Arizona versus USA the court said on the matters of immigration it is up to the federal government for enforcement this is a little different because it was relating to the obstruction with these particular objects so I think with the buoys we might see something similar similar mm -hmm. um, what still remains to be seen is Texas's Senate Bill 4 which is being challenged right now that is the uh, law that will soon give Texas authorities the ability to enforce immigration laws and that's the case I was referring to where mm -hmm. the Supreme Court in uh, previous sessions has sided with the federal government. We'll see how these um, justices decide on that case if it goes to uh, that level. But I think uh, this was a major loss for Governor Abbott, who has said Texas does have the authority when it comes to putting these measures in place. So mm. um, definitely, I think, indicative that the court might be more uh, favorable toward the federal, federal government moving forward. Okay, so last week you were all across the state. You were at the, the border. You spent some time with the Border Patrol agents there. Walk me through what you saw there and what they said. Mm, so we got a tour from the vice president of the National Border Security or uh, Border Patrol Council. Mm -hmm. That is the union for Border Patrol agents. We were also part of a trip that Congressman McCall, who you just heard from, and other Texas delegates took uh, ahead of meeting with Mexican leaders over the weekend. Now, it was a very eye-opening trip, Jen. Mm -hmm. We went as you can see at night this is some video from when we staked out a part of the wall and we saw a group of families um, many unaccompanied minors who were turning themselves into border patrol you see them loading the bus before they then go over to the processing center and are released into the country presumably so we heard firsthand from that border patrol agent about what it's like for them and he says it's been the hardest mm -hmm. out of his 22 year career in doing this job it's the hardest now harder than it has ever been before and he attributes that to a lot of the policies and doesn't really blame the migrants like those families who we saw he said it's easier to get here illegally than legally with the laws of how everything is set up right now so we got to see firsthand what that process looks like we also saw areas where a lot of smuggling takes place, according to the agents, and then went along with these congressional delegates as they were getting a tour of the Rio Grande <coughs> and everything. So we saw a lot over the weekend. Okay, and then lastly, this week we are expecting a breakthrough immigration bill, but what have been the roadblocks on Capitol Hill? I think as uh, Hannah Brandt lied out, there's a lot when it comes to just how partisan this Congress has been. I mean, keep in mind, this is a task that in previous sessions of Congress has always been a little bit of a Herculean lift. Um, immigration and border security are controversial talking points for both Democrats and Republicans, let alone in a Congress that has been marred by chaos, if mm. you will. I mean, the overthrowing of a speaker, multiple threats to government shutdown amid global conflict. There is a lot going on in a lot of partisan battles, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of wiggle room for people wanting to compromise. The Republicans are tough on their points, and Democrats don't want to see mm -hmm. things like remain in Mexico being reinstated, even though that's what Republicans say needs to happen in order to fix some of these issues. So I think just the willingness of people on the right and the left to come together in the middle and find compromises is the biggest challenge when it comes to legislating the border. Okay, all right, Monica <coughs> Madden, as always, it's good to have you. If you'd like to see her coverage, you can visit KXAN. <coughs> shalom, shalom, more praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekakwadash. Shalom, Lebakarim, Shal Yasharada. Double honors to the apostles, 
and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the old elect out there and the elect lady. Those that are truly sincere and believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. And um, as you can see here, all right, whew, uh, this is this is a uh, um, this is a, a a a recipe for disaster, you know. And this is all by design, as we know. There's the um, there's a there's a there's a problem that America is having, and that's of uh, migrants coming through across the border, you know, uh, a lot of these um, immigrants, you could call them immigrants, but they're truly the uh, the rightful uh, citizens, you may call it landowners, because those are, J those that are in the know, where the Israelites, South America, Central America, the islands, you know, uh, the Indies, uh, Española, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and so forth, North America. That that that's even up to uh Canada, Alaska. That's all Jake. All right, the ten tribes, the Northern Kingdom. And what you see here is a, a Supreme Court order by the federal state to remove barbed wire from you know the the the, the security uh, uh uh border. And this is just going to uh, give the uh, uh, the migrants more easy, more access, you know, to come through. And this is all by design. I, I know for, hey, you can see this is all by design. All right. You know, uh, to, su to set up civil war here in Babylon, the great in America. Now, I did a lesson no more than a week ago, I think it is, where... Um, you have migrants, you know, uh, 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 stealing and fighting, taking things from, uh, uh, or, or, or I think it was a fight. Yeah. A couple of migrants that attacked, uh, you know, uh, uh, individual in New York, I think it was. Yeah. It was in New York and he filmed it and you can see him running and the police was chasing them, you know, and I, and I say, that's just the beginning of a of of a civil war of a of a unrest class wars more of a class wars race wars and this is all in the scriptures we're going to get to the scriptures but I wanted to show this man now when it comes to to the tribes man i mean scripture speaks about where the form of all things man so even even when they even with these barbed wires like this, for some reason I don't know how they do it, but that's Jake, the, the Israelites. They 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 um they'll find a way to get over that barbed wire fence, you know. And um, you know it is a dangerous journey, man. You know this uh uh uh. They had a documentary a couple of months ago about the Darien Gap. And that's from uh, Panama. It starts in Panama, which is Central America. All right. Those are our people as well. From Panama. Um, uh, where was it? From Panama going into um, uh, Central America, Guatemala, Honduras. El Salvador, uh, Guatemala, Mexico, and then uh, the the uh, the states, America, and um, th that's a jungle. When you go to, when you, when you go into the Darien Gap, that's that's a jungle, man. And uh, people have died uh, going through that jungle, you know, to come here to to find work. You know, I mean, it's 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 horrific when you think about it. But um, remember when, when when you see all this happening, it all stems back to Esau, because the scripture speaks about Esau making the world wilderness. You know, the, uh, uh, the way the heavenly Father created a planet Earth, there there's riches, 
minerals and resources, natural resources everywhere on the planet. But this devil has seized those resources. He'll come into your country, take over, rape, kill, set up a, a puppet politician, you know, and, and suck the life out of those resources in that country and make it a third world country, a poor country. And Esau has been doing that for hundreds of years. And this is why that's, a, that's one more reason and it's million reasons of crimes against humanity, against the children of Israel and the planet Earth that he has to go down. And, and, and based on prophecy, he is going to go down. But back to this, court decisions of migrants and Congress that, uh, on border security. This is, oh, this is going to make it more easier for these, uh, uh, these migrants to come into uh, America, man. And it's just designed, it's just uh, allowing them to come in you know, because uh, it's going to stir up a, a race war, class wars. This place is going to flip. I keep hey, the scriptures say it now. Let's go into Second Ezra. All right, uh, let me go to Second Ezra real quick. I'm gonna just get one scripture, just get right to the point. You know, and show you what's going to happen here. And this is all by design, man. I'm gonna start at verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people should stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. And that's mainly going to happen in Babylon, the great America. All right? Because the Lord said it, that, um, uh, verse, uh, verse 10, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. All right? So this is a dark saying. In Egypt, there it will be America. It's a dark saying. All right, when we go to uh, Isaiah 19, same thing. Verse 1, the oracle concerning Egypt. All right? The burden of Egypt. And when you go into that word burden, in the Hebrew, one of the um, definitions, the grave, doom. All right? The burden of Egypt, doom, Behold, the Lord Yahabashim Yahushai rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. And it's the same thing Ezra prophesied about. All the prophets prophesied about the same prophecies in different content. All right? So when it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. And this is where the Lord is going to bring the judgment. Jacob's trouble. All right? But mainly, what you see right here, this is just another reason. This is part of the... of of. This is uh, design. This is this is all by design. This is not no coincidence or we're going to uh, vote for a bill to remove the bar wire. No, this was talked about behind the scenes by the elites on down. These are orders that are coming down now. It has uh, reached the federal state and they have to do this because this is what they want. They want all chaos. Again, this is just going to be more easier for the, the migrants to get through. And that's going to create all hell. For the sword and the destruction draw nigh. And one people should, should stand up to fight against another and the swords in their hands. For there should be sedition among men and uprising against the government. And invading one another, they should not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions should stand in their power. A man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. For because of their pride, the city should be troubled, the houses should be destroyed, and men should be afraid. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right? And, and when, you, when you, look, it's bad enough that you got these migrants trying to survive sleeping in the freezing cold and you got a lot of these migrants sleeping in the freezing cold uh it was in a uh i forgot where it was it was in the news where the
the migrants, they have to they have to release themselves. They have to take a shit. So they all shitting in this one part, this field, this part, and the neighbors are complaining about it because they say it's a big shithole. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, it's funny because it's like a nomen omen, like a sign, because this is a shithole. And the Lord is showing you, man. And it's going to create chaos. Then these, these same markets, they, like, hey, look, when, when this thing really hits the plug and people are here surviving, these markets are going to be wild. That's going to create silver, class wars, uh, 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 sedition, chaos. And this what the, the, that's why we're going to be reading Second Ezra 15 and 16 often. You're going to see me read this often because through the spirit, this is the time we're approaching. You know, Jacob's trouble. Let's get second edges. All right, let's get, uh, no, 13. No, 13, I think it is, 31, 30. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. And he should come to the astonishment that of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall overtake to fight against another. One city against another. One place against another. One people against another. And one realm against another. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass. And the signs shall happen which I shall show thee before. And then shall my son be declared whom thou sawest a man ascending. Alright. Just like our Lord went up. Acts 1 and 9. The Lord is coming back. Alright. The same way. And that big chariot. But right before he comes, this place is going to be burning. Luke 12, 49 down. It's going to be kindled. The Lord is going to, uh, 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 everything is going to be out of order. Death, destruction, sedition, chaos, martial law, food short of cannibalism, death, death, rape, death, World War Three hitting off. And then we're going to see Yahweh Shai and pray that he may have mercy and deliver us, man. You know? And that's what we're about to go into, man. So this is all by design, brothers. This is all by design, you know? And this is what's going to accumulate, uh, 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 it's going to warm up and heat up in America. Tensions. And I see him over here in Jersey. Look, Ishakar and Zebulon, the tribe of uh, Zebulon and Ishakar, Asher, all of them, man. Now, Fatali, all of them here. I've seen them. You know, they're all here. All the tribes are here. Jeremiah 50, verse 33. They should be oppressed together. They're here, man. You know, they're here. I see them all the time. When I drive, you know, uh, they'll be in front of Home Depot looking for work. You know, they're everywhere. And not just here, New York, all around Babylon the Great. Okay, and not to mention those that are part of the military, that are agents that are being paid, you know, to stir up, to be splinter cells, you know. Hey, man, this thing is going to be a movie. Oh, hey, look, just like the movies, man, you know, just like the, like a movie. It's going to be a movie, man. But the most high, you have by Shem Yahushua, mercy on us in that day. But again, man, you know, this is just another, uh, it's, a, it's designed. That's it. It's all designed, set up by the elites on down. All right? So they know what they're doing, man. All right? Call all Yahweh Shem Yahweh All praise and glory and honor is to Yahweh. Bahad Shem Yahweh Shai. Bahad Shem Rakakwadash. Shalom Labakarium. Shaw Yasharala. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Natan la yaha kaseyam sha da wada babakasha 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 la tha shalak yanaya mala panyaka wa rukak wadashka babakasha banawa yahawa double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who were well and shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady this is only for the house of mourning and the house of faith those that truly are sincere and believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. And again, we are definitely in that time. All right? Lord Wells, Yahweh Ratzazah, you're edified in the spirit. Shout out one, brothers.